This morning I woke up with quite a few mentions on Twitter, quite a few direct messages and a lot of tags in stories and pictures and a couple of videos all regarding Vic and a few people on KV. I know we haven't done a video on Vic for a while but again I haven't done that mostly because I'm waiting till September the 22nd when the court date comes around and we can get a lot more info because at this moment in time it would just be talking about basically what people on KV are doing and just being childish about it. Since everything gets hit, you know, the world went into lockdown and people on KV, they just wanted to go out there and for some unknown reason, they just, they just escalated their problems and they just wanted to get people hurt or banned or whatever. We're going to take a look at two tweets first and this is the first one. So we got Underdog BT, but we also got someone else. Lol, goodbye Botox Weasel, you never remembered me when I was one of your mods, probably because I didn't worship your pants and didn't give you free labour. And then Underdog went back with, damn, so now Vic is blocking people? Okay, well, if you want to be like that, why don't you be like that towards Monica, Jimmy Markey, Ron, Doug, you know, you, you got to uh, say Douglas as well, you got uh, Chris Sabat. You've got nearly every single person on KV has blocked everyone. But as soon as Vic does one or two people, oh my god, that's it. It's the end of the world. Do you all really still love him that much? You know, for people who say that you don't like him and everything else, you're all pretty upset and pretty mad that uh, he's blocked you all. You, you may not like it, you may not want to hear that, and you'll be like, no, no he's not, no he's not. Well, if this is what's going on, he is. You're all literally obsessed and upset that he's blocked you all but again though no, we're going to take another look now at something else which is actually from lj montello everyone's favorite paranoid schizophrenic who is literally medically diagnosed as that and this is what she said it only took one and a half years for vic to figure out how twitter works if he thinks this is going to stop anyone from criticizing his tour of hotspots to fuel his discount botox protocol he clearly doesn't realize what tenacity it took to deal with him back then oh lg montello's upset now because uh, she's been blocked by him this just shows how stupid and how and how sadistic they really are, because they're all narcissists, we know this. They all think of themselves as the one and only that, you know, whatever I say goes, you have to listen to what I say, you, your opinion has to match my opinion, otherwise we're going to go after you, which is, what they, which is what they've done. And it's really funny to see that these people are getting upset over someone blocking them. Well, sorry to break it to you people, myself, Victor, everyone... Tug, Yellow Flash, you got Risenball, you got everyone on Twitter. There's too many to name who have been blocked up by Monica, Jamie, Chris Saban, and everyone else. But we just laugh at it. But then all of a sudden, because Vic blocks one or two of you, oh my god, that's the end of the world for you. Which I think is brilliant. And like I said, it just goes to show that he's in your head all the time. Even though you've all said in tweets, I don't want to talk about him no more. I'm never going to mention him. Then literally 30 seconds to a minute later, you're literally just doing so many more tweets about him. That's why I think it's great as well. It's given me a laugh, I must admit, over the last couple of months. Just seeing all of this breakdown on Twitter when you got people who are moaning about him and saying they're not going to talk about him. Then they're talking about him. Then they're saying that they found stuff about him out in the shops and in the stores. Wow, you are all very delusional and you all are just obsessed with him. But we're going to move on from the hate and we're going to look at something really good now. We have three videos and they are really good. It's from his Unlocked live stream last night. So we're going to listen to these now and we're going to go through them. I noticed uh, the detractors, the haters, immediately, uh, like, Almost within two days, I guess, uh, after I I uh, announced it at UltraCon, they were online going, "Wow, well, we we contacted Funko and Vic's lying. Vic's a liar. He he said that he was, you know, that he had worked a deal with Funko and that he was working with Funko. No, I think what I said was, or what I meant was, I have been in correspondence with them, 
Now, I have five or six emails to demonstrate that I have been in correspondence with them, but I'm not going to post them. And you know why? Because it's none of their business. That's right. These people that have somehow decided that that it's their business, that uh, if I come up with an idea or try to make a living uh, doing something or I create something or build something, uh, you know, they somehow feel that it's their calling in life to destroy it. Um, and that they somehow have this, you know, divine right. But I'm not going to answer that back publicly because it's none of their business, actually. I don't owe these haters any explanations at all. Uh, I wanted to make this for you guys. So uh, I, uh, I wanted to, to make one and, uh, and put as many uh, character references in as I could. And uh, so it's all for you. Um, so that's really all I care about. I'm not really interested in, in what the naysayers have to say. But anyway, let's get some people in here. Let's see who sent us a message to join us. Yes, I do know Steve Bloom. He's an awesome guy. Very, very good guy. Somebody attacked JDF on Twitter? Oh, no. Now what? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you guys, can I, can I give you a bit of encouragement? May I give you a bit of encouragement, please? Try expending your energies creating something. Try using your time and your energies to create something. Not just tear stuff down. Not just destroy things or cancel things or ruin people. I mean, how, how unfortunate is that? You know, the world could use more creative people building things and making things and and uh, and expressing their their passions for music or art or storytelling or acting or dance or painting or whatever. But maybe I don't know. Maybe these people don't think they have any any real skills, and so their greatest contribution to humanity is is uh, tearing stuff down. I don't I don't know. Maybe that's it. Destroying stuff is is their superpower. I don't know. Anyway, um, it doesn't look like the uh, inviting people to the live stream is working either. Let's try. If unlocked isn't working any better, I'm thinking we should we should move to Instagram. Um, a lot of viewers are getting kicked out, and I think that's frustrating. Um, our numbers are drop have dropped because people are frustrated. And there's no main stage. I think you guys noticed that. Um, I just clicked the button and hoped that you guys would be here tonight. <laughs> but um, my time is up. So uh, if if I'm going to check with Unlocked and see if things uh, are in working order next year, next next year, next week. Um, my Unlocked videos are used against me. Uh, in what way? I mean, I'm expressing my thoughts. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure people that are hateful are going to use anything they can to, to hurt people. But that's fine. At least I'm sharing my heart with you guys. And you know what? You're my friends. Am I right? Am I right about that? You are my friends. You are the good people who I am talking to. You are the people that I take time out of every Tuesday to see and meet with and talk to here. So uh, those are the, you're the people that I care about and that I'm paying attention to. Um, I love you guys. God bless you. I hope you had a good Labor Day, and I hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, next week, like I said, um, be watching out. Um, either like on the Rangers page, or maybe I'll maybe I'll tweet about it. I don't know, but I may I may move to Instagram next week if uh, if Unlocked isn't working better. So, but I'll see you next week, right? This is one of my favorite things. I look forward to it every week. So I hope you guys have it locked in your calendars too. 
I love you guys. God bless you for your kindness and your support and your encouragement. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next Tuesday. Happy Star Wars Day! As you can see, we're going to deal with the Funko Pop one first. This came out about a week and a half to two weeks ago where he was at uh, UltraCon and he said that he talked to Funko. He never made any assumption that him and Funko have a deal in place. He just said, what, you know, what can we do to get a, one done of some characters for me, ones I've done and put them into a custom pop. That's exactly what happened. You can even watch the video where, again, that video, you had LJ Montello, you had Renfamous, you had BT Underdog, but all of these people, they were going around saying, actually, you know what? Let's contact Funko, like he said, and they were all up in arms. They were foaming at the mouth like a bunch of rabid dogs, which they were. And as he said, you know, they all contacted Funko. And then you had one person who actually faked an email from Funko. Because with that, they actually said, oh, we got this. But then everyone who actually spoke to Funko, they said it takes normally a couple of working days, business days, to get a response. But somehow this person got one from Saturday night into Sunday morning. Yeah, no. And when he got found, when they got found out, I should say, that it was actually a fake email, he nuked his entire account. That just goes to show, again, what type of people they are. Then they got the one regarding Instagram, because Unlocked, for some unknown reason, Unlocked is it's just not going to work. And he was saying that he's thinking now of moving over to Instagram, which I think could be a better place for him because a lot more people have Instagram and a lot more people can watch. Like you said, the numbers are dwindling. And we've also got someone who was mentioning in the co in the uh, comments that when they were updating their phone, the unlocked app just disappeared. But you can't even find it on the App Store. I've tried looking here in the UK and I can't seem to find it. Unless I'm not looking for it correctly, I haven't been able to find it this morning. So, they probably just like, yeah, we'll just uh, get rid of it. It's not working properly. But if he moves over to Instagram, I think that would be a hell of a lot better for everyone involved. And then the last one, which I just thought was absolutely amazing because he's just talking positive. He's like, guys, just put something into being creative. You do you, you know, be nice to people. If you want to make YouTube videos, go ahead and make them. If you want to just do drawings and upload them to Twitter, Reddit, and other places, do it. It's, it's better than what they're doing on Twitter. Because what they're doing on Twitter, they're just going around being horrible as usual and trying to bring people down to their level. Because for some unknown reason, they're sad, they're lonely, and they just want to upset as many people as they can to make themselves feel better. That's the majority, and that's, the just, that's just the crust of it all. Because... They just don't like people. They want people to think how they do. And that's not the way to go forward. They are nothing. Well, I'm not going to say the word. But they're a bit of the, uh, you know, WW2 bad guys. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.